Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update April 28, 2020. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and this is episode 222. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. In this episode, Love Advanced Customization has a top billing issue, and What's Up Weibo features some of your favorite celebs. But first, a quick update on Legend of Fei, the highly anticipated upcoming costume drama starring Zhao Liying and Wang Yibo. Chinese entertainment site Sena recently published some pictures of the two stars on set. Here's one of Zhao Liying in a ponytail and a light yellow outfit. She's holding a sword in one hand and what looks like a broken noose in another hand. It looks like her character might have saved herself or someone else from being hanged. And here's Wang Yibo standing behind a bounce card, looking on intently. He's thinking, I can't wait to get off work so I can pop some ollies on my skateboard. In case you guys didn't know, he's an avid skateboarder and a motorbike racer. Speaking of getting off work, Wang Yipo has officially wrapped filming Legend of Fei. Today on Weibo, he posted this picture of him taking in this beautiful view. His message was, a long journey, we will meet, wrapped. Hengdian World Studios, where the drama is filmed, left some messages too. Earlier on April 27th, they said, Little brother Yi Bo will rap. Don't want him to leave. Somebody give me my locks. Then followed that up with, He's really rapping now, wishing he'll come back soon. Evidently, he'll be missed by the folks at the studio. The good news is that the drama is making progress. An official series rap shouldn't be too far away. Love Is All is a costume drama starring Zhang Ruonan and Zhang Haowei, and the drama premiered on April 25th. Zhang Ruonan plays a quirky legal advisor who meets her idol, the county magistrate played by Zhang Haowei. The two start off on the wrong foot but eventually join hands to solve cases. Zhang Ruonan recently starred in Everyone Wants to Meet You with Zhang Zihan, whereas Zhang Haowei played the crown prince in Joy of Life. Love Is All is slated for 26 episodes, nice and short, and is available on YouTube but no English subs at the moment. Dance of the Sky Empire is an upcoming costume drama starring Xu Kai and Wu Jiayi, and they recently released some new posters. The drama is an adaptation of a novel of the same name. It is set in the prosperous Tang Dynasty where humans and demons coexist. Xu Kai plays a half-human, half-demon who creates chaos after accidentally releasing the Demon King into the world. He becomes torn between two worlds, human or demon, as he has to choose a side to protect. At the same time, he gets into a love triangle between a demon played by Wu Jiayi and a human played by Yu Xingtong. Xu Kai burst onto the drama scene with a memorable role in the story of Yanxi Palace. He continued to rise in popularity with dramas like The Legends and Arsenal Military Academy, as well as his most recent one, Once Upon a Time in Lingjian Mountain. Wu Jiayi was also in Arsenal Military Academy. She had a supporting role as a character who has unrequited love for Xu Kai's character. There's a good chance she'll get him this time in Dance of the Sky Empire. The drama wrapped filming in December last year after a four-month shoot. I will keep you guys updated on it. Love Advanced Customization is an upcoming modern drama starring Del Raba and Johnny Huang, and they recently released their first character posters. Del Raba plays a fashion designer who meets an e-commerce manager played by Johnny Huang because of a lawsuit. They are forced to work together, but because of their different but equally stubborn personalities, they butt heads. Of course, through it all, they find a way to fall in love. Filming began in Shanghai in September and wrapped in December of last year. Del Raba most recently starred in Eternal Love of Dream, which ended its run in March. For several weeks during its run, and even briefly after that, she was number one on the top 10 Chinese drama actors list. Johnny Huang recently starred in The Thunder, a modern drama in which he plays a narcotics officer. Love Advanced Customization's release of the character posters did come with a little bit of controversy. On April 23rd, Del Raba's official fan club, which boasts over 1.3 million followers, released a statement on Weibo. It says that because of the games and deception by the drama, Del Raba fan club will no longer cooperate on online or offline promo activities for Love Advanced Customization. We will always back Del Raba. We will always stand with Del Raba fans. So it seems the fan club isn't happy with a couple of things. One is that during the filming of the drama, paparazzi leaked photos of Del Raba and Johnny kissing on set, which led to rumors that they had become an item. 
They were just doing their jobs as actors and kissing for the scene, but that didn't stop the rumors from spreading. The allegation is that the film crew helped the paparazzi get those pictures. The two stars didn't respond to the rumors, but their fans came out and strongly denied them. The other thing has to do with top billing. First of all, for those of you who don't know, what is top billing? Top billing or first billing basically means the first name to appear in the credits. This was also an issue recently for Chris Wu and Yang Tzu's fans for the golden hairpin. I talked about it in a previous video and suggested that they could just have no credits at all, beginning or end. I mean, it's been done before. Anyway, fans claimed that Del Raba received top billing when Love Advanced Customization started filming, but now it seems that's changed. On Weibo, the drama shared the character posters one by one, with Johnny's appearing last, indicating that he's top billed. Additionally, the producer Xu Li shared posters like this in a grid with Johnny in the top left corner. One could naturally assume from this that Johnny's top billed. Like I've said in previous videos, I don't really care who gets top billing. What matters to me more is the quality of the work and the performance of the actors. At the same time though, I could see how it could matter to a hardcore fan, like those in the aforementioned Dilraba fan club. I can also see how it could matter to the actors themselves. It can be important for the agents and the production companies when they draft contracts and stuff like that. What do you guys think? Should Johnny Huang on Del Raba get first billing? Or are you like me and don't really care either way? Let us know in the comments section below. And before we get to what's up Weibo, a quick shout out to ExpressVPN. Whether I'm at home or traveling, the first thing I do before I surf the net is log on to ExpressVPN and connect to a server. Not only do I use ExpressVPN to protect my data from spies and hackers, I find it especially useful to unblock geo-restricted content like dramas and movies on YouTube, Netflix, and other websites. ExpressVPN is giving away 3 extra months free on a 12-month plan to all viewers of my channel. All you have to do is use the link in the description below, expressvpn.com forward slash Marcusim. And now another edition of What's Up Weibo. In What's Up Weibo, I update you guys on the recent stuff some celebs have shared on their Weibo accounts. We begin with Del Raba. On April 23rd, she shared her character poster from Love Advanced Customization. Her message was, New designer Zhou Fang opens for business. Understand the manual customization. Zhou Fang is of course her character in the drama. Next, Zhao Liyi. On April 28th, she showcased a couple of pictures from Legend of Fei. One is a rope with a blade attached. Is it her character's weapon of choice? Another is of her holding a sword, walking down a path in a jungle. Don't know about you guys, but these pictures are whetting my appetite for the drama. Next is Yang Mi, whose Weibo updates have been mostly endorsements in the past week. On April 27th, 26th, and 25th, she endorsed Calzedonia, Crocs, and Huan Lechia coconut milk, respectively. She is the first celeb I've ever seen endorsing or even wearing Crocs. That's no slight on Crocs, I have a pair myself and love wearing them to the beach. Or anywhere. Further back on April 23rd, Yang Mi posted a video of her endorsing Victoria's Secret. She and Zhou Dongyu are the newest Asian brand ambassadors for Victoria's Secret. Next, Deng Lun. On April 22nd, he reposted director Edward Guo's post on Qing Yati's rap. His message was, My first movie. Thank you for believing and trusting me. A very touching 8 months. I'm very happy. Similarly, Mark Chow shared the same post. His message was, Congratulations for the rap. Everyone's worked hard. These 8 months haven't been easy. Thank you director for your trust and support. Thank you everyone for your professionalism. Endless gratitude. Next is Arthur Chen. On April 23rd, he shared a post of the premiere of Legend of Awakening. I've heard magnificent things about Legend of Awakening. The drama is available on the iQIYI app with English subs. And finally, Xiao Zhan. On April 27th, Xiao Zhan posted the message, Made everyone upset. Don't hurt others. So this is not regarding the AO3 incident. This is regarding Chinese TV host He Jiong. Apparently, rumors surfaced that He Jiong was going to invite Xiao Zhan on his show, Back to Field Season 4. Xiao Zhan's anti-fans were not happy about that and rebuked He Jiong, some saying that they would never watch his show ever again. As it turns out, those rumors weren't even true, so those antis were up in arms about nothing, really. And that wraps up this segment of What's Up Weibo and this episode of Chinese Entertainment Update. 
This show would not be possible without your support, so I thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page where for a dollar or more a month, I'll answer one of your questions at the end of one of my episodes. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!